Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Deltana. This is their part number PH35. This is a knife or pivot hinge set. This is going to be shown in the 2060 or satin chrome finish. You could also call this 626 as it is made of solid brass. Let's take a look at what we have. So when you order this material, you're going to get one pair of pivots. You're going to get a package of screws that go along with it. They are sold as pair. Uh, there's no reason to, to worry about it. You're going to get a top and bottom complete set when you order uh, when you order one. This sort of hardware is used really in cabinet hardware, and the load limit on the PH35 is 35 pounds. So you'll be using it in relatively light weight or light duty sorts of applications where you have you know cabinetry a door that you're going to fit into a credenza or some sort of custom woodworking that you're going to end up doing you're looking for a traditional or elegant way or classic way to install or hang that door within the opening and a ph35 is a part of a family of uh, three sizes of pivots from deltana they have the ph35 the ph40 which is for 70 pound doors same hinge concept just a little bit bigger then the PH60, which is rated for 200 pounds, and that's a different animal because you can remove the spindle from the pivot and allow you to install it as a commercial piece of pivot hardware would be installed. The PH35 um, is, is the, the spindle is not removable. Uh, nor is it from the PH40. The only way that you could, you know, install all of the hardware mortise at flush would be if the spindles were, re were removable. Uh, or in commercial door pivot installation, you would install your header portion, you would install the top of the door portion, you would install the spindle into the bottom, or your, your door uh, arm into the bottom of the door, and then your floor portion. You would take your door and pick it up and place it on the base, on the floor portion, then tip it in, open that door up, and then affect the, uh, the spindle to engage from the header down into the top of the door. Well, you can't with these. So what that requires that you do, and it's, they're not intended to be done that way uh, anyway, but what it requires you to do when you install these is you're going to separate the hinge leaves um, you know, let's say we're going to be doing the, uh, the the header. Get this mortised up into the header. You're going to take the complementary door portion and get that installed down into the top of the door. However, you're just going to mortise it at this point. You're not going to actually attach it. You'll mortise it, you'll pre-drill your holes, and then you're done. But the header portion is to be fixed into the, uh, into the, into the top or header portion of whatever you're installing it into. Same scenario at the bottom, you're going to take your base uh, and you're going to mount this into the base. Now I'm, I'm showing the opposite hand because I'm, I'm using the same set of pivots. You'll get this mortised and flush into your base. You're going to mortise and pre-drill the door, but you won't fix the door portion to the door. Once you have everything, and there is a bronze bushing that's included, by the way, that goes right between the two leaves. Once you have everything mortised, uh, you're... you're, you're cabinetry has the pieces attached you'll then open your door you'll then open your door to 90 degree you can have the bottom plate attached down to the floor it's not it's it's not going to matter because it won't fall off but you'll have to hold the top pivot on uh, actually I'm, I'm kind of I'm showing it really incorrect this way that would be the top not not that you wouldn't that would be pointed towards the ground once you have the the hinge top and bottom swung open to 90 degree bring your door and slide it right over that prep that you've made on the top of the door okay and that's then how you will then go about securing the hinge down you don't do a commercial situation where you tip it down and full and lean it in um, and that's how these are done there's typical material so there is a link below this video to the template, and let's take a tour of its dimensional properties. This is marginally smaller than the PH40, not maybe a half of an inch. The overall length of the pivot, they've got it at 3 and 7 eighths. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty good on 3 and 7 eighths. 
You have five eighths thick of uh, or wide of the arm material, maybe just shy. Quarter inch thickness, that seems good. They are giving you location for the screw holes. Okay, that's fine. Um, it would be important to note that you do have that inch and five eighths dimension from the back side of the pivot all the way out to the very leading tip of it. The vertical axis of pivoting, as you can see, is inch and a quarter. So we're imagining, obviously, when you install this, here's the, here's the door portion, when you install this, you're going to have to open up the side of the, your, your, your mortise is basically going to be this L shape in the top and bottom of the door. Um, so this will all be exposed on the side of the door, and then this will be, I assume, not necessarily, ha it doesn't have to be, but it might be flush with the back side, or it could be positioned a little bit inside of the thickness of the door. Um, the point of holding the tape measure there to the back side of it, in relationship to the center of the vertical axis of pivoting, you can see what you're dealing with. How thick is your door? You know, is it three quarter inch? Well, yeah, then you're going to be, this is going to be flush to the back side of the door itself. Uh, you'll mortise all the way through and for it, I would imagine. You know, if you're dealing with a door that's one inch or maybe inch and three eighths, you know, now you can start to understand how you might have to mortise the door based on your door thickness. So you'll take that all into account. Um, obviously, since this is going to be flush to the edge of the door, uh, you can then also uh, understand where your vertical axis of pivoting is from the edge of the door, and it looks like it's three eighths of an inch. Okay. It's countersunk on both sides. That makes, of course, uh, it's required to be so, so that it is thoroughly non-handed. Available in lots of finishes. Let's take a tour of the finishes that it is available in as I repackage everything. Uh, polished brass, lifetime brass, antique brass, oil rubbed bronze, polished nickel, satin nickel, antique nickel, black, polished chrome, and satin chrome. So you can purchase this in those finishes. It's all going to be made of solid brass. I do like the way that they package the material with this kind of interesting box that they have. And they, what, what they're doing here is with this leaf, they are allowing the screws to go inside the box and not make contact with the hardware. You take a case of these pivots and you drop them, yeah, heads of screws are going to dent <laughs> hardware. So they do a good job. Not every, not every manufacturer does that, that's for sure. Um, they're not thinking about the transportation when they're packaging the material and how it will arrive to the end user, unfortunately. Finally, there is a link below this video to the manufacturer's page where you can pull up not only all of the Deltana products that we sell, but a link to the manufacturer's website, as well as a link to the full product catalog. If you have any questions on the Deltana PH35 knife, let's see why they call it a knife, or scissors, or pivot hinge, I'd call it a pivot is what I would call it, um, or any other Deltana product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.